Welcome back again. This yeah, is segment yeah. three of Oreo 5 Radio featuring Aaron G. That's me, baby. And when we left off, what were we talking about? I think we were talking about current trends, uh, popular artists. Yeah, you were. we were getting ready to discuss... Um, talking about the Justins. Yeah, the Justins and... Who? And Lady Gaga came up briefly. The infamous, or maybe she's just famous, I don't know. Lady Gaga. I love her style. Her creativity is all about the Lady Gaga's creativity. Um, if you watch her videos and just the concept of the way she do things like in Born This Way if you you see how it's like Born This Way and then she's reenacting uh, her being born you know um, <laughs> you know <laughs> it's her wearing meat suits or 12 inch heels that she has to be pushed out on a wheelchair in that makes her that unique that gives it you have every artist have that unique signature of herself and her unique that's I, I think that's her unique signature of her and I love that about her, you know. Yeah, one thing about Lady Gaga, I mean, she's, uh, you know, she does what she does, and she stands out because of it. And I can see if you're a fan of Lil Kim's style, I can see that you could uh, be a fan of Lady Gaga style. Yeah, because she has a style all her all her own. Yeah, that you is know, one uh, thing and, you can say. And and one of my biggest reasons of like even saying like I love their styles is because like me as an artist. And as a musician singer, I, I'm like, okay, I don't, I want to sing, but I want to actually have a, a signature style. And I think a, a lot of males they get up there and they have um, their hats or you know they, you know, you know what? I want to do more than just, oh, okay, I got a hat and a six pack. You know, I want to do more than you know, you know what I'm saying? I want to do that. Whoa, what was he thinking about? Like, you know, a type of style that that's who I that's who I've always been ever since like way before Lady Gaga, way before there was a Lady Gaga or a little Kim. Just just li watching Michael Jackson in some of his videos. And before I even really watched Michael Jackson, I used to always think of like, OK, maybe I could rip my pants up and wear this weird or color my hair or, or do this or do that. You know, just different things to be different. I've always and, and I've always been good at that. I've always been a different from every individual person that I've ever, ever ran across. And I'm a very popular person now to my downfall. And I think I'm going to be a very popular person once I'm, you know, in the industry. I, I pray, you know. <laughs> so um, what are some of uh, uh, any other big artists that I missed that are you really like now? I mean, we're talking about some of the classics. Yeah, like now, um, we got Beyonce. That's true. She's still going. Um, She's been around a while too. I yeah. Don't, when I think of the, well, I don't know what I'm trying to say. Go on. <laughs> well, we got we got the Beyonce. We got um, what artists that I like now? I just don't want to be. I I give all artists to anybody who even thinks to step into this music industry their props and their credit because. Let me tell you, this industry is a cutthroat industry, and people just just go crazy. They kill themselves and do all type of crazy stuff, trying to for the love and dedication and music off of drugs and off of all type of different things, because it's crazy. It's like it's a nonstop hustle. It's richer than hustling on the streets. It's a nonstop hustle because now you're hustling in front of millions and millions of viewers, and you got to keep your T's up and your eyes dotted all the time. You guys do. So I give all of my all of my fellow colleagues, you know, um, they props on what they doing, whether they're in the industry, whether they're underground, whether they're struggling like I'm struggling right now. I give them all props. I give them all gratitude. Like they got nothing but love for me because I love everybody. Um, I, I love anybody who do their thing, you know what I mean? If you're going to do your thing, I'm going to love you for that because that's what I do. I do my thing, and I just want people to love me for what I do. Um I my I got my brother Ronnie, you know my Blizz, you know that he, like he's an up and coming rapper, you know he he's hot, you know what I mean he he he's is he he's good. I believe that in my eyes that he could be the next big thing, you know what I'm saying. Some people say maybe y'all gotta be the next music family, like who knows what's gonna happen in the years to come, you know. History could repeat itself. We could become the next biggest family in music, you know. Like, that would be high for me though, you know what I'm saying. But at the end of the day, I'm like, it's all about. 
just the the struggle. And you know, like I said before, I just got to give love and props to everybody out there. At the same time, though, you've got to figure out what your thing is, and you're right. just trying to be original. And that's and that's pretty much it. You know what I'm saying? I don't knock nobody hustle, and you know, like. None of that, but you know what? If I work with you, I work with you, and if I don't, I don't. At the same time, I'm I'm really I ain't, I'm not even trying to be like oh, I'm trying to work with everybody and their mama. You know, I'm really not. It's it's a few artists I would love to work with. Like I like to work with Beyonce. I like to work with Lady Gaga. I like to work with um. I, I definitely want to work with um Justin Bieber. I want to work with you know um Eminem. I want to work with um. Lil' Kim. I definitely got to work with Lil' Kim. Mariah Carey. Um, you know, um, I would love to get an opportunity to work with Patti LaBelle and Aretha Franklin um, on some tracks and stuff like that. You know, I got to go, and I go I go old and I go new because I got, I one thing about my vocals, my vocal styles is I, 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 can, I change up and I, I'm blessed with um, an awesome range, first off. I have a really unique range. Um, to be a male singer and that alone it allows me to go different octaves and different levels and you know be at different ways and, and I can go and do pop and do the, the crunchy you know and then I can do a ballad and just be like oh you know what I mean well I'm going falsetto you know so I, I just want to use whatever God has given me and work with as many artists as possible but I can't work with everybody I just can't it's impossible now, speaking of your vocal range, on the technical side of things, maybe this is a little tangent, but I just have to know, uh, auto-tune is the kind of the new thing, a little bit overusing the auto-tune, but are you a big auto-tune fan? No, I, I don't I don't really deal with, I don't, I'm not a big auto-tune fan, and... Um, You're more of a natural kind of yeah, guy. Yeah, and I think, maybe, it, maybe it's because I was blessed, because like I said, my mom did give me one good thing, and, you know, two good things, and one of them was my voice, so... As I said earlier, and I, you know, in that interview, she gave me a nice voice, and 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 I, I don't really need a lot of auto tune on my voice. I just need the right EQ, and you know, the right settings and the right mic. And you, you need know. to sound good. You don't need to change it to something else. Right, basically. right. You know what I'm saying? I just want it to sound good. I'm not, I'm not, trying, you know, I'm not really, <laughs> you know, I'm not really down with that. You know, I'm not really. I think. Um, Maybe previously in my career, we 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 use a little auto tunes, but never like heavy because yeah, sometimes it's used as more of an effect. Yeah, you know, on like a like a, a note, a falsetto note, I may hit to make it sound more different. But you know, it, it works out on stuff like that. You know, because it makes it sound in a different sound. But as far as my my just the whole song and auto tunes, yeah, none. Maybe when I'm 75 and I'm I'm, (laughs) and I'm recording my 20th album, yeah. This 20th album's only at 224 million. I must, I don't know. (laughs) The next one will be auto tuned to meet the 225. Well, uh, American Idol. uh, What was the other one? The Voice. There seem to be a lot of these kinds of uh, reality. America Got Talent. America Got Talent. Don't forget that one. Reality I'm, voice uh, competition shows. Wait, wait, I'm gonna just give you a brief, uh, a brief. What is a brief whatever of what I feel about these shows? Mm-hmm. Um, American Idol. Um, I look at American Idol as this: it's, it's really not for the artists. Like I believe in, I believe that every artist should be developed. Should should not even be developed. Should be true to their self, and by being true to yourself, meaning that. You're knowing that you, you did the music that you're releasing is from you here. You know what I mean. And if it's not from here, then it's not gonna it's not gonna sell because you're not gonna have that passion. You're not gonna have that same drive. You're gonna you're gonna have that. Let me get this over with theme on it. You know when you're not a total a part of the project. That's what I feel. You know I I because that's how. It's like American Idol is produced to be a television show, not so much a yeah, musical. Yeah, they get way more show. views off of um, the viewers than the contestants that wins. You know, they don't. They, they like you say. Like, and, and, and I'm gonna just throw some numbers out at you right here because at the same time, like I said, like 
at right now in my life, I'm in school for international business, so I'm a businessman too. So I'm like, okay, you throw numbers out here, right here, right? If you're getting 33 million views off, and you just won American Idol, then your album should go platinum. No, there shouldn't be no. You know what I'm saying? And you 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 getting like, but it's more like American Idol gets the views, not the artist. Exactly. It's it's the art, and then when the artist comes out, they sell five hundred thousand. There they go platinum. Now, I, I mean, but like I said again, they they got the courage to go up there and do it. And I'm not saying that I don't have the courage to go on American Idol, but at the same time, I'm an artist with creativity. And that's what I don't really see. Maybe that's what I'm not seeing with the American Idol thing. I'm not seeing the creativity within the artists come out. One thing about American Idol is they have to come up with the uh, you know something every week. And it, it can be a little bit forced sometimes. Right. You know what I'm saying? So it's more like you're singing Cruising by Smoke. Smokey Robertson or you sing and I, and I love these songs don't get me wrong now but if I'm gonna sing them I wanna do a whole remake album and release them all at one time and do a big giant concert and then just get on stage and be like baby let's cruise away you know what I'm saying do something like that but I don't wanna I, I don't know you know what it's like American Idol I always felt American Idol wasn't for me you know if I if I had to get on by that it just wasn't for me because I see a lot of artists that goes they come they like they don't make it like and there's not I've not seen one male artist make it off American Idol if you only fe- only the females have made it off of there and even the males that won you don't hear nothing about them today have you gone to any of the auditions for American Idol no I wouldn't waste my time <laughs> um let's do American Guy Talent now that's more of up my alley. I, I want to. I like shows that don't really try to throw you into a contract, but let just explore your talent. You know, and that's one of my things I want to do in my career. You know, I want to executive produce a, a, a musical show that does say, "Okay, here you go, here go a record deal, yada yada yada." But verse that, okay, let's see what you got. Come sing your song. You know what I mean? Maybe it can't be televised. Okay, but you know what? I don't need to be televised. Because I want to take an artist and make them to what they feel and come up with a team for them and build that artist like that. that that's how my executive producer style links in my mind. Like I want to take artists and be like... like Because you got to think way back in time. It, somebody came up and said, okay... Oh, we're going to write these songs for The Temptations, not one of the biggest male groups out. You know, we're going to write these songs for Aretha Franklin. We're going to develop Aretha Franklin and make her a great artist. And not, we're going to make money off of her. But they got they got their stardom and they got popular because people took the time out to work with them. Not for, say, say oh, okay, we got 13 songs. Here you go. Your album's out two weeks after you want to show. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? That's what I don't like about American Idol. American Got Talent, I like that because it shows your talent. And not only music, you people get people doing all type of stuff. Now, The Voice, I just recently heard about this, speaking of it, today, you know? And from what I'm hearing, you get an opportunity to win $250,000 in a, in a recording contract with Columbia Records. Now, that's a good thing. But one thing you got to know is when you're going into rec- contracts with a re- big record company, you got to know what big name acts they already got on there. Beyonce. Beyonce's taking up all the Columbia Records funds. Everybody else are like mediocre artists who they're going to, you know, throw out there and make a few million dollars off of to keep Beyonce going up in the billions and mil- millions of dollars because mm-hmm. Beyonce is definitely a high ball an artist. She's an she's a she's a headliner. She's a showstopper. I love her. You know what I'm saying? I don't knock her. But each record each 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 record company have that main artist that's the showstopper and then everybody else falls. Mm-hmm. If you think about it, you, you got you know what I mean? Yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> you know? You know, and all these uh, talent shows, they are very performance oriented. Um, so I, well, what live performances? I mean, have you been doing some live shows lately? Yeah, um, a few weeks ago, I was out at the um, nightclub called JB's, and I did old time rock and roll. Um, JB's, where is that? 
this write up in out is in Elgin, Elgin, Illinois. Um, I should know that. Yeah, you should know that. What and street? <laughs> due to the fact that you stay on this in Elgin, um, it's on uh, McLean Boulevard. You know, okay. you, like going going towards twenty. Um, I don't know. Maybe you can take Wing Street. Wing on the Street. southwest. A little yeah, bit. it's like if you take Wing Street up <laughs> and then make a left, go right down. You'll find it. It's right there. Um, it's called JB's, and then they had karaoke. So I did old time rock and roll, <laughs> and um, it was awesome though. You know, I love it. And like yeah. I said, I'm I'm really, I haven't been doing a lot of performing lately. Um, I haven't been I sing a lot. You know, normally singing to myself and writing music and writing songs. But, like, right now, it's like, this is like a reunion for me. I'm, like, really just getting back out there on the grind. And, like, so, you know, like, like I say, we're going to be doing, we're definitely going to be doing another radio interview in a few months. And we're going to have some music, and I have some music for you to play. And we're going to have to keep up on <clears> what's going on. Right. You know what? I'm going to, because it's definitely going to be happening. I'm going to be working on my Facebook. Um, getting my Facebook oriented, working on my social networking and yeah, getting was, myself out there and stuff like that. I was going to say, um, one thing about current music is there tends to be, uh, it's, I don't know if people still listen to the radio, it's all changing now. There's internet. Um, you know what? It, it, if it you want to follow someone, it's like you, they're on the internet somewhere. Yeah. But uh, you've got a My, MySpace going on if we want to see uh, some more Aaron G. Yeah, I got my MySpace, you know, QBADLG. At wow. yahoo.com. That's how you can find me on MySpace. Let's say that one more time. Q-B-A-D-L-G. Uh-huh. At yahoo.com. At yahoo.com. Yeah. Um, I got a Facebook, you know. And then that's just, um, it's my name, Aaron Gashin. Um, and, and I'm working on setting up right now. We're in the progress of setting up the um, iTunes account and... You know, get some music out there and start selling stuff. You know, so it's all about it's all about the grind right now. It's all about getting the financials, the finances I need to really push the music that I'm trying to push out there. And you know, uh, grind and hope for the best. You know, that's all I can do and all I can say. You know, can we follow you on Twitter? On Twitter, I <laughs> okay. That's that's a new one for me. Um, yeah, I don't know anything about Twitter. I don't have a Facebook account myself either, so I'm a little behind on these things. Well, you know what? And I, I just recently started my Facebook, and I don't even got pictures on there just yet. Everyone's, uh, you don't have a Facebook. What's wrong with you? How am I supposed to know what you, what's going on with you? You don't have a Facebook? No, I don't have a Facebook, so. I ain't like, I don't know. But, you know, Facebook is the new thing of the years. Yeah, you should have a Facebook. Well, I got a Facebook. More, okay, yeah, you do, okay. I got a Facebook. I just got to get it together, you know? Like, like I said, you know, it's been it's been a struggle for me, you know, man. Like I've been through a lot these last few years, and like a lot of people don't know, you know, because I don't talk about my issues or my problems with nobody. Because I feel my problems is my problems, and nobody want. Because I, you know what, I don't want to hear nobody else's problems. <laughs> so I know nobody want to hear my problems. So that's why I just, you know, but like like I say, man, it's been a struggle this this, this last year, and. I'm overcoming and and prospering. So, you know, you're going to be seeing a lot of me coming up. A lot. There's going to be a lot of Aaron G out there, man. It's going to be, you're going to see him. He's coming. Don't, he's coming. He's coming harder than hard this time around, though. Got some you know, internet stuff going on. Got yeah. your, uh, you have any shows planned coming up? Or probably um, it's going to be a tour maybe starting after the uh, December album? Yes. After the December album, I'm definitely, you know, I'm um, we're working on getting some um, promoters and, working on trying to go wherever I can go, you know what I'm saying? If I drop this album, just basically trying to get to wherever I can go. And, like, um, I'm going to set up, like, a, a, a like a three- or four-week tour and perform at a bunch of different nightclubs and stuff like that. So we're going to do that. And Is that going to stick around the Chicago suburb area? No, we're going to we're gonna go, man. We're, we're gonna, going national? We're going, we're going all the way. Like, I, I don't do half-stepping. Like, I've half-stepped all for the last 10 years of my life. <laughs> I've half-stepped my music. I've half-stepped my own personal life and my personal being, and that's brought me to becoming who I am today, and I hate that person. <laughs> so... Um, <laughs> you know, like I've been, I, I, I'm a fuck up. I've made a lot of fucking stupid mistakes in my life, so I gotta get. I, I don't have time to waste, you know. So once this album drops in December, man, it, it's nothing but full throttle. And like, I got my brothers, they rapping and stuff. I got my cousin, they rapping and stuff. I got a lot of people, you know, that that's trying to do a lot of stuff. 
But at the same time, I can't even focus on that. I got to focus on me, and it's about me getting my music out there. You know, I got my own, I got my own rap artist that's signed to the label, um, Prive City. You know, you know, he in jail right now, but she, you know, but you know, he got he got a lot of good, you know, good tracks and stuff like that. We're gonna have to do an interview with him, like so. You know, I'm his manager. And his executive producer and oh, interesting. and his record, you know, record, you know, whatever. But at the same time, you know, I'm working on my own stuff right now. And then once I get myself going, so you doing any rap uh, guest rapping on your songs? You not not yet, no, not at the moment. Not at the moment. It will be. I'm gonna do some guest performance on his, but I don't really want any rappers on my album right now. <laughs> <laughs> You've got to have a rap on a song. That's what people do. That's that's it. See, that's all the thing. I'm not people. Yeah, yeah, that's right. You're doing your you own gotta thing. Got to be different. I'm trying. That's why I'm trying to bring a different genre. You know, different. Th- and if I do rap, I rap myself. Oh, that'd be interesting. Yeah, I have an alter ego, Luciano. That's my rap name. That's L- Luciano. Luciano. Yes, I'm telling you. That's 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 my. That's gonna be my rap name. I'm. A, I'm Though nobody even know that I spit, like my brothers or none of the people, only be, only a handful of people know that I spit. I don't think I was aware of that. No, I'm gonna call you Arong Luciano. <laughs> only a handful of people even know that I, I I spit, but like that's that's a talent that probably ain't gonna come out for. I don't know because like that's one of them. That's one of them other things I'm telling you. I'm shy about. That's you gonna know? be those one of the secret surprises coming out in the future. Exactly, you're gonna be like, man. And then you're going to be like, is that, and that's going to be Luciano? He's going to go straight <laughs> in on you. And you're going to be like, dang, he done went in on us <laughs> like that. But you know, that boy Luciano, he don't play though. He don't play, you know. Like, that's like, that's like the, I, I want to say that's like the ghetto thug side of me, Luciano. That's who that is. The projects, the guy that we were hearing about earlier. Right. That, 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 that's that boy from the project. Luciano, that boy from the project. Aaron G is that singing boy. And playing on Aaron is just a businessman who don't like to do nothing but sit down and relax. <laughs> so we're looking forward. To, would I be a little intimidated by Luciano if I'm in? You know, from his lyrics, probably. You know, he 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 spits like like none other than none other. You know what I mean? Like, and it's crazy because it's different flow from the different from the males in the industry right now and because he's he's always thinking of ways to be different he got to be different it's always about being different from the next person especially in the music industry there's no such thing as oh i'm gonna sound just like no you got to be different you know you got to be like if you're gonna do it you got to do it i will give you a little taste right now but you know what that's that's for later though that's luciano they they ain't ready for Luciano. They I gotta get them prepared for Aaron G. Cause they ain't even ready. They ain't really ready for Aaron G. Cause like I say, I'm a shy artist, and people don't even know. Like most people don't even know that I can dance, and that I put dancing with my music at the same time. And and I, I like not even like um uh, uh I want to say more of a of like. You know, dancing with the beat, with the song, with the way I sing the song. I want like, if I'm singing the lyric, I want to do it. I gotta move to sing with the lyric. You know what I mean? Like, sort of that type of style. You know what I mean? Like going back into the mic days and going back into the hard pow, boom, pop pow. You know what I mean? Back into into just the smooth, hard, just different though. I got I got a lot of tricks up my sleeves, and we can't say what they are right now because I don't want nobody out there trying to, you know, but. I got a lot of stuff up, up my sleeve, and I'm just, you know, I'm just really trying to get get out. Once, once I get out there, it's gonna be something, man. It's Luciano, Aaron G, ain't gonna be nothing to play, but they go, they gonna dominate it. So Aaron G is gonna be releasing this uh, demo in six to eight weeks, maybe. No. Is that is that gonna be a matter of public record? Anyone can go on and uh, check yes. that out. Yes, I, I I want everybody to check out the demo. I want everyone to listen to my demo music. It's gonna be on YouTube. It's gonna be. On my Facebook, it's gonna be on my MySpace. We won't be selling none of the songs from de- from the demo. It's gonna be all promote use and and stuff like that only. And uh, we may sell a few songs on iTunes or something like that, but we're not gonna actually sell the demo. We're gonna it's only for promote use only. <laughs> and we're gonna just tr- build up the fan base and get them ready for the album. You know what I'm saying? I think it's gonna build up a lot. <laughs> and of it's hype. gonna be it's gonna be a mixtape album. You know what I mean? It's not gonna be it's gonna be a mixtape, but. 
Oh, it's gonna be hot though. You're gonna be like, you're gonna go out and it's you're gonna, gonna be like a best of. Yeah, you know, it's gonna be the best of the best. All the classics and uh, with a a new the new spin of the new voice and uh, yeah, and and like I'm I'm always taking vocal lessons from my opera coach and she's like always oh I'm like okay. <laughs> Like open up, tongue down, open the palate. I'm like, got you, you know, <laughs> I got you, you know. And then just working out, exercising, and drinking plenty of water, and you know, getting my vocals ready and getting ready for this little thingy, you know. So it's gonna be a lot coming up, man. A lot, lot. I got a lot of big, big plans, you know. So we, we gonna, um, you know, we'll be, we'll be, we'll be back here. You know? Anger management, ladies and gentlemen. Anger management. <laughs> December 2011. You know it. That's 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 gonna be the best best underground album out of the year. Anger Management put out released by Fee Records, baby. Oh, Fee. Yeah, F E E Entertainment or F E E Family Enterprise Entertainment. Oh, okay. F E E Family Enterprise Entertainment. Yep. And that is your label. Yeah. Okay. That's 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 like me, me, man. It's me. And then you know my probably um, my A and R is gonna like my little brother Randy. Then I got my partner in crime, you know Lorenzo Lewis. That's my that's my boy right there, you know. Was that the rapper that you're managing? No, that's not the rapper. That's just one of my best friends in the world, you know. That's my boy. He rose when he f- with me hard, and like he always, he, you know what? It's you got you need that one person to keep you motivated, and you know what? He keeps me like definitely motivated with the inspiration that he believes in me so much and so hard and like just having somebody like that to believe in you is like man it's not another it's it, it, it's a great feeling like my family and everybody believe in me and like got faith in me but to have somebody outside your family just really believe in you and just really be like i know you can do it he, he like my mentor you know what i'm saying and like my he likes somebody i talk to if i want to talk to him or you know counselor or whatever you know we we just like we've been best friends for like five or six years you know, he's just one of my, one of my one of my best friends right now. You know what I'm saying? Besides my little sister Candace <laughs> and my little nephew, we can't. I can't. I got. Cannot leave here without shouting out my little CJ. You know, that's my little guy. And I love all my nieces and nephews. I can't forget my brother, two kids, Cherish, Stefan, and the other two. I don't know their names. <laughs> <laughs> now we're wrapping up here in about two minutes. Yeah. So, uh, so yeah, just any any uh, anyone else you want to thank? And uh, um, you know what? Yeah, I want to I wanna go ahead and just, you know, first and foremost, I want to thank God for even, you know, letting me survive and letting me still live this long. And I want to thank my grandmother for watching over me and being my guardian angel and everybody who's helped me throughout my years and throughout my same times. And I just want to say I'm, you know, and, and, and I apologize for, to, to the world, to anybody that I may have hurt or to anybody I may have upset and for all the wrongdoing that I've done. But you know what? That's all I can do is say I'm sorry. You know, I can't change the hands of times. And I wouldn't say I would change the hands of times because those times made me who I am today. So, you know, but I'm sorry. And, I, you know, I apologize if anybody, you know, feel threatened or upset by me or whatever, you know, from something I may or may not say. But, hey, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? And um, no, that's it. You know, I just want everybody to you know keep in contact with me, keep in touch with me. Go check out my songs on my face, and you know, be looking for me to come. Looking for me, Aaron G. You know, looking for me, I'm coming, Aaron G. He's coming. Yeah, it's been. It's. Yeah, I was trying to figure out how long it's been since uh, we were really hanging out, but it's been a long time. It, you've got a mustache now. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? I'm a, I'm a, Although I'm a growing it's, man. It's all re- It's always been there, but I'm not quite sure about that. Well, I see, like I told you, I was like 12 or 13 when we started for, for, working those songs, so I'm a growing man now. I got to, you know, keep it together, you know, but I just want you all to know that I'm coming. Be ready. Yeah, well, it's, it's definitely been a pleasure to see you again. Um, I know we went shop. You helped me shop for an air conditioner last yeah, year, but well, before that, uh, so you met uh, my daughter Tori at that point. Yeah. Uh, but before that, it's been a while. Probably the one you know one I live for is the last big project we worked on. So yeah, uh, it's definitely been nice to catch up and that, see you again awesome. tonight on Thanks this Friday course. evening. Oh, I forgot to say the date. It's uh, what is it? July twenty second, I think, two thousand eleven. Yeah. Yeah, we're wrapping up here at about ten p.m. 
Yeah. So, Aaron G., I just want to thank G, you for baby. coming on to Tell Radio 5 Radio. No problem. You know, anytime, anytime. We're definitely going to have more and more great moments together. Because like I said, I got a message, a message today. <laughs> and with technology, it's a lot easier to keep in touch. So You know it. Cell phones. And now MySpace, people be on MySpace. They have two seconds. So, shoot. <laughs> All right, well, thank you very much, Aaron, and I hope to see you soon. All righty, peace over and out. Goodbye, everybody.